This is Tomo Hussein reading for reviewer Mark Delaney. A dusty motel in the middle of nowhere doesn't sound like a typical video game setting, but debut studio Interior Night uses this peculiar place to create a game unlike anything else you'll play this year. As Dust Fall deftly explores themes of inherited hardship through the lens of two families who cross paths on one pivotal night. By way of incredible voice acting, a compelling and expertly written script, and a bounty of pause-worthy choices along the game's elaborate branching paths, it establishes itself as an instant classic in the narrative adventure genre. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me! Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Playing as Dusk Falls reminded me of something I think about a lot. How each of us is just the end result of every moment we've experienced before today. We often like to make up reasons for why we do something. Drive recklessly, win the spelling bee, get a divorce, give an unhoused person some money. But ultimately, our behaviour is more determined by our past than what we feel like our split second choices in the moment. Rationalisation comes after the act as a way to make sense of ourselves. Enough bad experiences, especially at an early age, can create fundamentally flawed people who routinely make poor choices, while a rosier upbringing can birth inspiring role models. To some extent, we're fated for success or failure before we even know we're on the playing field. As Dusk Falls swims in these complicated waters. Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brung him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. The game opens in 1998, when two families collide, literally, on a desert road in Arizona. The walkers are moving cross country to reset their lives after the patriarch of the family, Vince, was let go from his job as an airplane mechanic due to a controversy that might end in litigation. The Holtz, meanwhile, are infamous locals that have been making noise in the otherwise quiet town of Two Rock for decades. Sideswiped by the Holtz, who flee the scene, the walkers seek salvation at the Desert Dream Motel, the closest sign of life in the desolate road. Before long, the Holtz end up there themselves following a robbery that goes south. And in their desperation, the Holtz take the walkers and others as hostages. On the ground, now! Oh, I say get on the ground! Right away, Interior Night showcases a keen understanding of pacing and exposition. You'll quickly understand each character's place in the story and what kind of energy they bring to it. But that's not to say they are predictable and one-sided. As Dusk Falls focuses on these two families and several other characters who get caught up in the mess, and every single one of them is made interesting and dynamic. Because this is a choose-your-own-adventure style game in the vein of those from Telltale, Supermassive or Quantic Dream, you'll steward each of these fascinating characters through the use of frequent dialogue options and quick time events. The game's motion comic style means you aren't exploring the world in first or third person, which helps keep the story moving at a pace that mimics a serial drama perfectly, with smartly timed flashbacks that flesh out characters and cast so-called heroes or villains in new lights. Paired with an audio experience that fills in each scene the way you'd expect to hear in an audio drama podcast, the characters manage to come to life despite their still frame delivery, while a playlist of licensed music further settles the story in a place that feels real and lived in. The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! This delivery also seems to save As Dusk Falls from a major pitfall of the genre. Without needing to animate each character based on your dialogue choices, conversations flow much better. Sometimes in games like this one, you can almost hear the cuts between voice lines, and presentation suffers as the game jumps around reacting to this dialogue branch or that one. But that doesn't happen in this game. Every conversation expertly moves the plot forward and does it without the video gamey stutter steps or pacing problems that you might be used to in such a game. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? As if delivering a best in class story wasn't enough, As Thus Fall also builds on the genre's burgeoning social elements in a creative manner. It can be played in solo mode or in a party as big as eight players, each of them casting votes to move the story in their preferred direction. This party can be all local, using up to four controllers and a companion app, it can be all online between you and seven others, or it can be some combination of local and online. 
There's also a broadcast mode so streamers can have their say in the decisions. In my experience, it worked as intended. And the added wrinkle of mixing in-person players with online players seems like the best use case of the game mode. This kind of game is made better when you can argue over choices with your friends and family. And As Dusk Fall has a lot of choices worth arguing over. While so much of As Dusk Falls feels authentic, its depiction of police tactics comes off as confusing at times. In dealing with the hostage situation, the local Two Rock police and other forces resort to strategies that sometimes don't seem sensible. Rather than a commentary on something like the ineptitude of cops in a crisis, it feels more like an odd or unresearched writing choice. It was the only moment in the game where I had to suspend my disbelief, though I hesitate to be specific for fear of spoilers. Run for the door! I'll cover you! While the game tells a complete and excellent story, it also leaves room for a sequel. I found its way of teasing that possibility to actually hamper an otherwise poignant finale, causing an emotional whiplash when I would have been content to sit in the feelings the game nearly chose to leave me with. Ultimately, the nuances of every character and dialogue option are the best part of As Dusk Falls. When you're stuck on a decision screen, it feels like Interior Night is always one step ahead, knowing that you can likely foresee how any choice you make could save the day or go south in a hurry. T take Zoe, I'm... Uh... Well, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. As Dusk Falls can feel like it's the same misery business as series like The Leftovers or Six Feet Under, meaning much of the time your best laid plans will go terribly awry, partly due to its writer's penchant for melancholy. But at the end of the sixth and final episode, a complete story will come into view and it's one that doesn't relish the idea of ruining every character's life. Though I don't doubt such an ending may exist somewhere on the massive story tree visualized in game. Rather, it ends up telling a story that brilliantly grapples with a lot of underexplored or even unexplored themes in video games. Like a lot of my favorite games, it left me with a lot to think about, such as the roles we choose or reject, the hardships we inescapably inherit from family, and how trauma casts a dauntingly long shadow, but how forgiveness can let the light in. You boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. But first, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Bet you delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. 